Trap is an exciting movie with an incredibly interesting premise. If you haven't seen the trailer for the movie, I actually recommend avoiding it, as it spoils quite a bit of the movie for you. Now, the movie doesn't keep you in the dark for very long, and the main reveal's not that particularly difficult to piece together, but I still feel like watching the trailer first does the movie a disservice, and the movie needs all the help it can get. The movie starts off really strong, with an exciting setup. The police are hunting a serial killer that they know is attending the concert, and there are a lot of police. All the exits are blocked. The problems start when somebody that in real life would have next to no security clearance gives away critical tactical information very early on in the movie to the killer. And I feel like this is just the first of many instances where the killer relies less on their own cunning and scheming and smarts and more on a series of lucky breaks and conveniences that are unlikely to happen in real life at that frequency. I'm not saying that people don't slip up in real life, and I'm not saying that people don't make poor decisions in real life, but the level of poor decision making from the police and the FBI, the unrealistic reactions and decisions from the event staff, and the killer kind of just sailing through obstacles with ease, I have to say it really kills the thrill of the movie. Josh Hartnett's performance is pretty good, and he does well as the lead for the movie. Unfortunately, he's about the most convincing character in the movie, while the emotional performance of Lady Raven in particular, played by M. Night Shyamalan's daughter, really falls short. She's convincing as a pop star, she's a good singer, but she's not convincing as a real character once the script puts her in that position. As the film goes into its second chaotic half, it weirdly ends with a cliffhanger that hints at a sequel, but... Everything about the ending of the movie, the cliffhanger, honestly just the entire second half of the movie is lackluster. It's boring to watch at times. Overall, Trap had the elements to be an incredibly exciting movie, but it ends up falling short because of bad writing and the main character overly relying on conveniences and unrealistic decision making by other characters throughout both halves of the movie. Now that the movie is out for streaming, if you have an hour and 45 minutes to kill, or if you need some background noise, this isn't the worst way to do it. But I would have never recommended going and seeing this in theaters because it's not that satisfying of a movie to watch. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more reviews.